Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Now let's see the limitation of this table. The first thing the isotopes were also discovered that time when this noble gas was discovered. But the position of isotopes could not be explained. As I told, as isotopes are elements with same atomic number, right, but different atomic mass. Right? If you see, these are all uh, isotopes of carbon, 12, 13, 14. So, since they are different atomic mass, they should be different, uh, they should be placed differently in the table, right? But that's what not his table allowed. His table allowed only carbon to be placed once. So, the position of isotopes could not be explained that time, right? So, this was, uh, isotopes were discovered after a long time after the Mendeley proposed his periodic table. But once the isotopes were discovered, these isotopes could not be get placed in the periodic table and that was not very good, correct? Also, some uh, order of atomic mass was wrong actually in some case and that could not be explained. For example, the cobalt, cobalt was 58.9, it came before nickel and nickel is 58.7. This guy came, it is like this 58.9 came, then 58.7 came. There was a, a debate on this, why it is happening like this, though it was only 0.2 difference, but generally uh, it should be first will come, then second, then third like this, right? It should not be the other way. So the, the wrong atomic mass order was not explained at that time, right? Also hydrogen was not uh, assigned a correct position because hydrogen has the property both of alkali metals and halogens. So if you see, hydrogen believe, uh, behaves like chlorine a lot of times. And also behaves like sodium, right? So, what should be the position of hydrogen was not confirmed because his uh, uh, classification in the groups was based on the way uh, element react with hydrogens, right? Or the way element react with oxygen, right? So, with this, uh, hydrogen behave uh, both as alkali and halogens. So, the position of hydrogen was not clear. Also, he could not answer this question: Is it possible to have an element of atomic mass 3 between hydrogen and helium. This is the question. For example, hydrogen has atomic mass 1, helium has, let's suppose, uh, 4, right? So, can we have one element atomic number 3 here? Because atomic mass can be any number, it can be 4.08, 4.95, right? So, between, let's suppose, 4 and 4.5. You can't say how many atomic mass can exist, maybe 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, you can't say, right? But if it is something like numbers, I say that some quantity is number, for example, it has to be number, then I can say between 1 and 3, they can be only one number, that is 2, right? But if some quantity is not number, because this guy is not number, right? This guy is not, sorry, this guy is not, uh, this guy is not natural number. So this guy is not this guy is decimal number, right? So in that case, I can't see how many decimal number can exist between particular number. For example, between four and five, I between four and six, tell me how many decimal numbers can exist. There can be many because 4.5, 5, 5.2, 5.5. 5 There's so many numbers. But between four and six, how many the national number can exist? Only one. Correct. Right. So since atomic mass was a uh, decimal number actually, this is a non-natural number, so it was not possible to tell. If someone asked the question, is can there be element between hydrogen and helium? The answer was, I don't know, because they can be, they can, may not be, right? So these kind of limitations were there with modern periodic table. Let's see some questions. Using a Mendeley periodic table, create the formula of oxides for uh, all these. Right? Let's do that. So if you see the first one is K potassium, let's see where K is. K is here, right? It's a group one. So if you see for group one, it is R2O form. So K will be in this form, K2O. Very simple. Next is C. C is carbon. Carbon is here. Carbon is in group four. Group four is RO2 form, right? So it will be R is C, O2 form. So this guy is CO2 form. The next is aluminium. Where is aluminium? Aluminium is here. In the group 3, R2O3, so it will be Al2O3. Just replace R with Al. Next is Si. Si is where? Group 4. So 
SI has O2 form, so it will be SI. Next is BA. Let's see where the barium is. And this is this guy. Since this guy is in group 2 and it has RO form, so it will be BA. And that's my answer. Very simple. With this little table, you can actually find which kind of oxides or which kind of hybrid will form. Besides gallium, which other elements have been discovered that were left by Mendeleev in the periodic table? Uh, these were scandium and germanium. These were the two elements that were left for, for which the space was left for the, in the Mendeley period table and they are found after the period table was created. What was the criteria used by Mendeley in creating period table? Obviously he used the chemical property, right? So he uh, found the oxides and hydrides of the elements and based on the oxides and hydrides he created the group. And that was the group and then ordering in the group was based on atomic mass. So this was the first criteria, this was the same criteria. Why you think noble gas, uh, gas are placed in a separate group? Because they are inert, they don't react and they are different from all other. Right? They are different from all other. So they are placed in a separate group. Very simple answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.